Hey guys, what's up? Afternoon. Afternoon, guys. How are you? How are you guys doing? Hey, hey, what's up? Mm. How's been your day so far? How are you guys? Hey, Manguiro. How are you guys doing? Hey, Vimbai. Hey, Esther. Beauty, hi. Yeah, Kuruku Pisa, but my room is very cold. But Panziparuku Pisa and Osaka, I'm just resting. I'm just coming in from, from the morning graduation ceremony. And I'm just trying to rest for about uh, 30 minutes then uh, we are going to have a braai anytime from now so i'm just resting i'm tired you know today i was doing capping things i was keeping these twanas and and zimbos <laughs> hey esther how are you you good sagbona patience putin so I was given the honors today to be keeping children uh, of Yada Daycare Center. And uh, it was such an honor, I tell you. I had an amazing time. And um, I just want to thank you guys from Botswana for the support you gave me. You know, it's good to know that <clears throat> you have people who appreciate you. And it's even worse. Then the people are foreigners, you know, being appreciated by foreigners. It's it's just amazing. I was just saying to God, God, is this me today? I'm keeping people from my, 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 my neighboring country. Like seriously, they would have just taken anyone from anywhere, but they chose me. Of which I'm very grateful to God to see Kuti. Even when people uh, try to pull you down. God will elevate you to higher levels. And I'm so grateful and I want to thank him. He keeps on elevating me even in front of my enemies. He keeps on setting the table in front of my enemies. And you know when, when people were talking today, they're like, there, there's never going to be anybody coming. You know, my, my, fellow, my fellow human beings, nobody's going to attend. But when you are ordained by God and when you are blessed and when you have the grace... I tell you today, I was shocked to see people overflowing. You know, I'm like, these people, are they here for me? Or they're here for the graduation? And <laughs> they were they were there, most of them, just to see a mighty tea for Baba Titi. And all the Tswanas were excited. And, you know, it was just a moment. I almost shed tears. I'm like, is Christ, is it me? Or I'm dreaming? Or maybe I'm going to wake up? But... You know, I'm not dreaming. <laughs> it was happening right in front of my eyes. So I just want to tell you guys that when something is ordained by God, no, no amount, no amount of shade of aid or segregation will, that will stop you. Complaining about 300 puller, saying, yeah, 300 puller, no one will ever come. Listen, I have people who paid 500 puller. Just to see me today. I have people who paid more than just to see me today. And I was shocked. I was shocked today. I'm like, huh? Are you serious? And when you hear these people talking and complaining about 300 pula, not because they are complaining. They just don't have it. And still they want to, 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 to complain. Some were complaining about Black Friday. Hey, Black Friday. This is Black Friday. Someone is even in the house now. They can't even go to Black Friday because they can't afford. But they want to come on my page and come to me and start talking what they want because they just 
want to sabotage. But I want to thank God that He is not a grace, is not a God of sabotage. He will lift you up in front of your enemies. If I tell you, if I tell you how much I have now, just people coming to bless to say, My titi, you know what? You changed, you changed us. You have ministered into our lives. You have changed the way we behave, even towards other people. You have changed us too. You know, I was just shocked today. I cried. I said, oh my God, you're not, you're not serious. Maybe you're talking to a different mighty. Not knowing that sometimes what I do, I'm really putting an impact in other people's lives. who really appreciate you know, people, the way they complain, hey, we won't come because, you know, the money is too much. It's like people want to put you on their level. People want to put you on their own level. They think you don't matter to them, but there are people who still appreciate you when others don't appreciate you. And I want to thank these people today. I want to thank you guys. God bless you. God elevate you. God keep taking good care of you. And now... I don't even know what to say. I'm, I'm very emotional right now because I wasn't expecting it. And, you know, with the way other people... And the funny part is most of the people will say that they are people from your own land. People from your own land will try to pull you down as much as they can when they are suffering and when they're in their misery. They want everybody to be in their misery. You know, like, it's, 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 it's not a crime that you are in misery and I'm not. You understand what I'm saying? There is always time for everybody. Your time will come as long as you stop feeling jealous about other people's progress. When you stop feeling jealous about other people's progress, you also progress. Because there is a God in heaven who sees your heart. God knows who to bless and who to curse and who not to even bless because of the behavior that other people do. People can be just jealous over nothing. People would devalue you and put a price tag and say, ah, me, I can't pay 300 to go and see my titi. You are not, nobody even forced you. Did you see those people today, guys? Did you see those people? There were hundreds of people just to come and see my titi. The same my titi that you say, no, me, I won't pay 300 for that. You can stay with your 300 and go buy your cheap stuff on Black Friday. Nobody will care. Nobody will even notice. Like, seriously, me, I don't notice. I've told that I will move with people who want to move with me and I will not even try to answer to people who do not want to move with me. It's a movement. This is a calling. This is not just something that you just think you just wake up in the morning and you say people come. This is a calling. This is grace. And if you want to know what grace is all about, look at me. And there is nothing that a, a human being will do. This is a spiritual calling. So you just need to sit down and tell yourself, you know what, with this woman, I'm just defeated. Because there is no way that you ever stand and say, I will defeat my titi because I will be talking rubbish. Rubbish, she will never get you anywhere. You will remain poor until you remove that mentality. You will remain where you are until you remove that mentality that someone is a nobody. Nobody is a nobody. Everybody is a somebody. It's only a matter of time. And when God opens doors for you, nobody can close them, no matter how much you bark like a dog or a pregnant, a pregnant monkey. And me, I don't really pay attention and I don't care. Whether you say you don't come or you come or you say I'd rather go shopping, go. I didn't ask you. People who know and believe, they will always attend. So I came to thank those who came to attend to say, you guys, you are awesome. You are amazing. Keep believing in yourself and never stop. And I want to say to those who are coming at 4 p.m., guys, I can't wait to see you. I'm going back tonight and I'm not going home anyway. I'm still going. I'm working. You know, I'm a hustler. I'm going to Blawayo tonight. But before I do that, come, let's have some bright. Come, let's enjoy. Come, let's dance. Let's throw away whatever we're thinking of today, our stresses and our burdens and whatever. Come, let's dance. Let's dance our stresses away. Today, 4 p.m., I'm actually waking up. I was just resting. So I'm just waking up now to go and uh, to take my bath. Then I'll dress up. Then I'll see you at the venue, phase four. Mm. 
You will understand. Yeah, true. Life is so much better when you stop caring about what everyone thinks and actually live for yourself like I'm doing. I'm touring the country, not for anybody, for myself, to make myself happy. And even if I minister to two people or three people and we have fun, I'm so cool with it. I'm not all about numbers. I have numbers already. I have 200,000 people following me. I'm not, I'm not worried. I'm not worried. Even now I came to Botswana, numbers, they still follow and they still paid. I'm not worried. You can never come and rule somebody's life, especially when you don't know them. Sit down. Some people were just born with grace. <clears throat> Some people were just born with, uh, with the anointing. You see, even now, I'm gaining weight, which means it's the grace. You see now, the way I'm gaining weight everywhere is the grace. It won't stop me. You see, the way I'm glowing is the grace. It won't stop me. You see, the way I'm making money is the grace. Your stupid comment will never stop me unless you want to come and shoot me or kill me and say, because me, I'm a child of God and I'm not afraid. The devil lost already way, 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 way back. So when you don't have money, please don't say anything. You just don't have the money. That's it, period. If you cannot afford your rentals, don't come to people, to our shows, things like our shows. If you, do, if you can't even afford your own rent, how then can you think you can come and see me? You see now? That's the thing. Accept that you don't have money. And stop talking too much. You don't just appear on someone's page and you start saying, the money is not worth the person. Who told you I'm not worth? See, today it was paid with lots of people paying. People paying as much as 500 just to see this ugly face. And you with the even a 10 puller you want to complain you want to complain yet you can't even afford 10 pull. just sit down let those people who have the money come you would stay there nobody even invited you i don't invite people me it happens automatically so i just want to encourage you guys never let anybody detect your life for you never let anybody see you as a nobody in life to say maybe you used to know me Maybe you used to know me as a poor person. I'm sorry, let me reintroduce myself to you. My name is Mighty Tifobabatiti, the woman on a mission, the woman with a vision. I'm no longer the same person you used to know. So stop treating me like you know me because you don't, okay? Stop treating me like you know me, sweetie. This is a whole different game now. This is God is set up now. This is God is grace. And accept it. Don't feel bitter. Your time will come. Accept that. And once you start doing that acceptance, God will also lift you up. But if you are bitter and you're always passing shade on someone else's beautiful life that is moving way better than yours, you will stay there forever. You will be stuck there forever. Appreciate when God elevates someone. Appreciate that. Okay? Appreciate that. Thank you so much, guys. Let me wake up and see which outfit to wear. Then I'll come and join you just now. You know, where where we're doing this thing is close to my guest house. So don't worry. Uh, don't worry. We'll be done just now, yeah? We'll be done just now. So I'm waking up to dress up so that I can meet the rest of the guys who wanted to see me today. So, yeah, prepare. If you bought your ticket, make sure. The level is different now. If you used to, if you used to know me as a nobody, let me reintroduce myself to you. This is a different Felistas. This is a different Mighty T. This is a different Heartbroken Woman. This is a woman on a mission. Stop acting like you know me. You don't know. You know nothing about me. Since God changed me. Since God changed me. You know nothing about me. You have to learn. In fact, you have to copy what God has done for me. Copy pattern. 
Please copy pattern. Yeah? Don't be bitter. And don't be a bad influence to people. People want to come. You want to tell them about the money, the price. If you don't have the money, do not come. Because you don't have the money. Set your brokers in your house. Stop complaining. You can't afford. So sit down. You want to influence people? Hey, 300 is too much. Make it 10. How can you come and see me for 10 pula? You think I'm that cheap? When someone else goes, or when Japres of goes, you can pay $50 to go and see Japres. So what is the difference between me and Japres? You want to devalue me because I'm, I'm, a, I'm a woman. You want to, you to devalue me because you say, please just make cheap. Do you see me as a cheap person? I will not allow anybody to tell me that I'm cheap. I'm not cheap. I don't come easy. I'm a hardworking woman, and I make sure I put food on my table for you to come and tell me I have to be cheap. I will never be cheap for you. If you can't afford, stay there. If you want to negotiate, then you negotiate. Not to come and put your own price tag on me. Who told you that you put a price tag on me? Huh? <laughs> It's only God who can put a price tag on me. Even today in the afternoon, how much I made. Just to come and inspire you and have fun. You just can't appreciate a gift. You just don't want to appreciate because you feel like I'm used. Because you think I'm on the same level with you. You want to put me in your level, sweetie. I don't do that. So guys, I'll see you those who paid... Uh, 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 for 4 p.m. Let me come and see you. Let's have fun. Even if we are five already in the morning, we're full. So, yeah, I know that you will come. Even uh, you are 10, come. Mighty T will be waiting for you. I'm changing. Some of you guys here don't even have passports yet. You are talking about coming to see me. You can't, you are border jumpers. Yet you want to complain here and talk about. Uh, Whatever. Please take care of your passport before you come and devalue me here. Yeah? I love you guys. God bless you. See you. Enemies of progress will never prosper. I see the way I'm prospering, even when enemies are talking, I still prosper. I think they should just give up because the way they talk and the way God is blessing me is like uh, the more they are fueling blessings upon my life. So I want to say to them, keep doing that. You are fueling. God has blessings upon my life. So guys, if you want to see me, and if you truly want to see me, and you honestly do not have, or you have less, just come. I'm opening these doors for you. Even if you want to see me, and you, don't, you truly don't have, or you have less, come. Because remember, the promoters and all these people also put their money, and they want their money back. Yeah? So... Don't just think it's me coming to collect your money. Remember the people behind this. People like Pamela of Yada Center. The, the way she put everything in order just for you to come and see me. And you want to come for free. May God strike you with lightning. People who do not appreciate will never succeed in life. It's a no-no. When you're at your church there, you go there and put offering because you believe the pastor is going to bless you. Even if he's not blessing you. Even if... Is eating your man, but when a gift is there, you don't want to appreciate a gift. If a, if a gift is there, you don't want to appreciate it. You rather pay a traditional healer that you don't even know whether you are going to come out in your situation rather than someone who will tell you to stop thinking, stop getting mad, stop fighting your husband. You don't want to appreciate that person. Oh my god! Oh my god. You need to start appreciating gifts and stop making life complicated for you. Because me, if you don't like me, I don't care anyway. If you like me, I love you. If you don't, I honestly don't care. I'm not someone who goes around licking people to like me. No, no, no. I know there is one person who I that is God who died for my sins. Anyone else can sit down. Yeah? Never think I'll beg for anything or for anybody. I begged for God and he blessed me. And I'm happy. He's the only one I respect. I don't. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not res a respecter of any man. I'm a respecter of Jehovah. So lay low. Stop stressing yourself. Stop stressing yourself with me. 
I conquered already. I conquered already. Stop bothering yourself. I don't even notice you. You mean, I mean, I have lots of people following me. I don't know why you think I will notice you, one person, leaving my page, or one person not coming to my show. Do you think I will notice? Do you think your comment can move me? It won't. I'll be, I'll be very honest with you. Your comment does not put any, even a banana on my table, even an ARV in my, in my pocket of pills. So sit down, stop stressing yourself. I love you guys. See you soon. I'm dressing up now. See you at the venue, phase four. God bless you. Mwah.